what I was trying to tell you back there is my favorite thing, and that's board games that fit in the boxes they're packaged in. More often than not, board games are put in these boxes that are way too big for them. And there's all this extra space and air and things move around and it's hard to put them in the shelves. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Oh, good. So, these are a couple games that have a ratio of game content to air in the range that I'm wholly uncomfortable with. And I like these games, so do not think of this as a quality that I'm talking about. Like, the game itself is good. Discoveries is actually one of my favorite games ever. But look. Look! There's an insert that takes up some space, and then there's just air. It's so empty. This box is twice as big as it needs to be easily. The bloody inn. Open it up. Look. Two thirds of the box is insert. Two thirds of it. The rest of it, game. Way too much space. Fuji. If you pick up Fuji, you might think there isn't even a game in here. That's it. That's it. Look. That's it. It's just... Just air escaping from the box. And I think my biggest offender at this time is Imperial. Imperial, look at this box. Look at this, it's a big square box. Oh, so cool, right? And it looks nice. You lift up the lid. Oh, look, look how much space there is. Too much space. This is Love Letter in the box version. Oh, cool, right? Same card game. You have uh, cubes and you have cards. Oh my. Let's use this entire box to package this game. Boo! Bad box version. Better version? Yay! Look! You need a pouch. That's all you need is a pouch. Now, mind you, this is impossible to pack. Um, and, and this doesn't really tie very tightly, and um, you'll lose this. This is the size the love letter needs to be. A little velvet pouch. Done. Perfect packaging. Here I am with the games that use these boxes in their space perfectly. Now, my first two examples have inserts inside that you can buy. Um, ours are a broken token, and as you can see with our caverna, We've got all of the inserts that make the game super, super easy to use. Never do we have to unpackage every single last little chit and disc and components. They are all right here, ready to use. Brilliant. The same thing goes for our Feast for Odin. Um, it is jam-packed. I mean, it's even just a little bit above. You can see that even these island tiles are actually above the box lid. This is a tight, tight packaging, and I think it is brilliant. It's a great big box, but both of these utilize their space really well, and the inserts help keep everything organized because they are really complex games. New games that are starting to include all of these dividers and bits and pieces with their games. Oh my God, thank you so much, thank you. It's brilliant. I mean, look at how perfectly this fits in the box. It goes straight to the top. Gorgeous little tubs. When you put the lids on, everything stays exactly where it is. When you open up the inside here, everything just fits so nicely. This box is exactly the size that it needs to be. No bigger, no smaller. Thank you, Parks. I mean, look at this. This is a nice, small, square box. Lest you think that you need an insert to make a great game fit into the size of the box it needs, 
I give you welcome to small box. Now there is some air, but it's because we have about two thirds of this box is just paper underneath these cards. And you have just these components, that's all you need. So while there is a little bit of space up here, this box is skinny and it's perfectly fit. It, it's heavy, perfectly fits the size. And then Root. Root is a wonderful example of how much stuff you can cram in this size box. I mean, this is all the way up and it's in one of these boxes. I know designers are not in charge of the boxes that their games come in, most likely. I think so, I'm going to assume as much. But I think production companies need to try just a little bit harder. I know that they plan on putting expansions out and they want people to add their expansions to the game. Sometimes they're not though, and sometimes they want them just to match, um, like the Aaliyah games. I get it, but I also want games to come in the boxes that they need to come in and not in a particular size that's prefab and or just what they want it to be. So make the games fit the box and if you do, that's my favorite thing. I love games that fit the box they come in.